In this program, we're going to learn about sound energy. What is sound energy? Sound energy is the energy made by objects that vibrate. For example, many bees make a buzzing sound when their wings vibrate very quickly when they fly. Vibrate means to move back and forth quickly. Sounds are produced when an object vibrates. Something has to move in order for a sound to be produced. Sound is a type of mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy in moving objects. When a musician moves the strings of a guitar, a sound is produced. When a baseball player hits a ball, a sound is produced. When gears on a clock move, a sound is produced. Imagine the glitter pieces on this speaker are air particles. When the speaker vibrates, the vibrations move the glitter. The vibrations move the air particles. The vibration passes from one air particle to the next and eventually reaches our ears. The vibration travels through the air as pulses known as sound waves. Sound waves move back and forth like the rings of a slinky. Sound waves form when air is quickly pulled together and then pushed apart. Waves that move back and forth are called compression waves. Every sound that you hear reaches your ear by compression waves, which first enter the outer ear. The waves then travel to the eardrum and make it vibrate. This makes the anvil and stirrup vibrate in the middle ear. The vibrating bones cause fluid to vibrate, which causes tiny hairs to vibrate. Vibrations are passed to a nerve that carries the sound wave to the brain. The brain then processes the sound. Some sounds are very loud. Some sounds are very soft. Some are high, and other sounds are low. Even though the sounds are different, they have one thing in common. They're all caused by sound energy. Now that you better understand sound energy, think about this. How can loud sounds hurt your eardrum? Think about it. <laughs> 